everybody, the College Railroader here, and look what I just purchased from Trainworld.com. It is a phenomenal Bachman Sound Main Central 282. This thing is absolutely massive and so amazing. Let's go put it on the tracks, let's also set it up, and let's get started. Follow me. So already, as you guys can see, this is already such a massive and beautiful, beautiful train. Heavy, too. That's what matters. Just the front of it alone, of my smaller 260 Mogul by Boston and Maine, can already fit just from the front itself, not even including the tender. So you can tell that it's going to be a great, big, big, big train. Um, there was also a whole bunch of nice paperwork. It is DCC sound, like I said before, so it also has the soundtrack system on it. So it's really nice. What's also really good, it of course, because it's Bachman sound, it will work with the Bachman Easy DCC controller. So let's sit it on the tracks and let's see this thing set up and let's code it and let's get started. So I already have the train coded. It's on number six, because of course the train number is 617. If you want to know how I code it or how to code um, a new train or an old train or not even a Bachman train for that matter, check out the link in my description and the little card on the top that shows you how to use the Bachman Easy controller. Uh, but let's try out and let's see its function. So you can already hear it. This is its default motor sound or its pistons, I should say. The motor, of course, is in its main chassis area. However, the sound is located in the tender. So I'm just gonna click on the function button. Let's already see how bright the light is. Well, that is bright. And actually, move it for a second. Look at that. There is a light on the back of its tender and it's already on. That is absolutely amazing. It's connected by, of course, the same little loop down here. Um, again, it is a 282 Baldwin, I believe. Um, the bell on the side is absolutely amazing. Look, it even moves a little bit side to side, which I love that little bit of detail. Um, the riveting, it's exquisite. Love the side plates over here. Very, very, very intricate. Love the handrails added on top, the golden whistles and valves up on here. The coal is very nice, and like we said on top, it does light up. Um, the riveting and the printing is exquisite on the side over here. I love just the nice bright colors. Um, I believe because it's very similar, to my Boston and Main train over here. Sorry, yeah, my Boston and Main train over here. It does the same similar sound. So when I press number four, it will make a steam sound. Very similar to again the little mogul one here. Um, let's also hear its whistle. Interesting. Again, the same sound as well over here. It's kind of they kind of copy and paste. But here's the real part. Let's hear. The, whole, the whistle. That's nice. Very nice whistle. Can't wait to hear it's rushing through. Let's also get a short one. That's really cool. All right, now let's just see this thing slowly crawl. So what I also like about it is that you can also mute the train. Again, pressing the number eight, turns it on and turns it back off again. And just listening to it, pierce silence. Except of course you hear the motor running a little bit, but when you hear a small uh, motor like that or a quiet one, I should say, that just shows that it's a nice, great quality. So let's of course turn it back on again, have it rush through that I want to try picking up some cars.
Okay, so I have it. Uh, whew, a little loud. So I have it again pulling seven cars. And so we're just gonna go this run by just on the outer one. It can do the inner one, but with this many cars, it's a little iffy. Um, but it can definitely make at least an 18 inch radius, which for that size, I'm still surprised that it can do it. But again, let's just hear more from the train. This train is massive and it tends to be a little needy, especially around these kind of tracks. Um, especially if you want to use the Bachman Easy Easy Track, you need to make sure that you have a complete flat surface. Unfortunately, one of my tables during moving it got a little bumpy, and so it's not um, uh, primarily smooth, which is a bit of a problem. Another thing you have to make sure because of how heavy it is. You need to make sure that the switch track, if it's going over any, is going the correct way. It cannot go over it. It will jump itself and it will fall off and derail. So just you want to make sure about that. Um, the size I like, the, the whistle I think is amazing. Um, um, interesting that the bell and the steam uh, sound effect is the same as the Bakken one. And so because of that, I can just kind of um, not fall flat, um, but I think there's a way, if I bring it back to my train room, using the actual power cab of the CVs, I can actually adjust and change some of the settings and features. I'm sure that this train can do a lot more than just the four that I showed you, or five if you include the bell, um, or seven if you also include both the four main features, the whistle, the short whistle, the bell, and the seeming effect, as well as light, and um, it's mute feature, which is also really cool. Um, this uh, can range from 130 to around $200, I wanna say, depending on where you find it. Uh, for, train wheel, for Train World, it was originally on um, sale, originally it was like $180, and I was able to get it for only 130 so I think that was a great steal. Um, if this feature could smoke, this would be a must-buy, honestly. Um, so, with, uh, But not that that feature breaks it away from it. If anything, that would just be more to enhance it. It's a great feature. Again, if you want some nice long turns and for a bigger layout, you would get something like him. Um, I just wanted like a real true locomotive, and this is exactly what I wanted, and so I'm very happy for it. So definitely go look out and try to find more of these Bachman big locomotives. Um, a Mikado is also it's uh, it's also called besides uh, made from Baldwin. Uh, a 282. Sometimes they have a 460. Those are kind of better too, or a 260 many different other types of uh, layouts. Again, speaking of that, making sure that the guiding wheels, the two in the front, are always on the track and don't divvy off because that will indeed affect the train's uh, mechanisms of going faster, or at least making sure it's, of course, on the track. And all the cars being pulled were all metal wheels, so it was very smooth as it ran by and it was absolutely amazing. 
But yes, definitely, definitely look into getting some more of these wonderful Bachman locomotives. And just like that, we're on the right track. I'll see you real soon when we come back. Thank you so much for watching the College Railroader today. Be sure to be on the lookout for more videos to come. Take care, everybody!